I messed up and locked my keys in my car. <laughs> in the car and I'm going to pick up Parker because he locked his keys in his truck. And I always think it's kind of funny when he does this because he does it like all the time and I've never done it before so like I mean obviously it's just an accident and like you know but like anytime that I get out of my car and my keys are in it like this door is always unlocked so I don't know if my car is just like different or what but I don't know so I have his spare keys and I'm going to Walmart where he's at. He went out to run some errands this morning. I was just replying to like emails and stuff, working on a blog post and then I was planning on filming a little bit later today. And yeah, so he ran out to go do like some errands and stuff. And then, and then he called me and I actually didn't have my phone. Well, it was like next to me, but it was on silent and I was on my computer and he texted me and was like, please answer the phone. And then I looked and he called me like three times and I was like, oh no, like what's wrong? And I should have known <laughs> that he locked his keys in his truck because he does it all the time. But yes, I am going to drop off his keys right now. And I think I'm gonna have him go to the mall because He's at the Walmart that's like by the mall. So I think I'm gonna have him get us some tickets to the Parade of Homes. My mom said normally she like gets some for free so we wouldn't have to buy any, but then I guess this year she didn't. So I'm gonna have him run in and get us some of those. I would do it except, you know, I'm wearing my onesie and I just don't really wanna like go to the mall in my onesie. Guys, I messed up and locked my keys in my car. <laughs> Thanks to my beautiful wife for bringing my keys. Did you bring them? Yep. Sweet. Thanks, babe. Wait, Thank you for bringing them, babe. You're welcome. So I am back at the house now. Parker went to the mall to so go get the tickets, and they don't sell them until 5, so we will have to do that later. But I'm about to make us some lunch, and lately I have just been so over, like, veggies. Like, I mostly have, like, zucchini and squash. That's, like, a regular thing that I eat. But I feel like I'm just over it so i'm trying a experiment today so i actually grated up my zucchini with like a cheese grater it's not supposed to be in a pancake but zucchini has like a lot of like water in it i guess so um you have to like squeeze out the water so i did that and then i put it in the pan and it's like in the shape of a pancake but so yeah i'm going to make rice and i'm going to like put the veggies all grated up in the rice so you don't like taste it as much. At least I think that's how it's gonna turn out. So I'm also gonna do, actually I don't like cooked cauliflower. Is this moldy? I'm just gonna chuck this because we have a new bag. Maybe, so I'll just do zucchini and I'll also do broccoli. So I'm gonna chop this up really tiny and then mix it in with my rice and eat it with spring rolls. So I just barely got back from running some errands. I had to go to the bank, I had to go get some oil for my truck that I'm gonna put in right now. I had to get some gas in my truck. There were just a few things that I had to do. Right after Aspen brought me the keys, because I locked my freaking keys in my truck, right after she brought those to me, I went to the mall to buy some tickets for the Pray to Homes, which we've talked about, we wanna go to. It's a really cool thing where there's just all kinds of really fancy, cool houses, and we go and walk through them and check them out. Went to buy the tickets, but they're not selling them till five o'clock tonight. So we have to go back to the mall and get them. I just barely got the mail. We actually, we haven't gotten the mail for a while and we have like quite a bit of mail. I'm pretty excited. Well, 
When I was younger, I remember getting the mail, and if I ever got a piece of or something in the mail, I was always super happy because I'd never get anything in the mail. And I was always so jealous of my parents for getting all kinds of mail every single time. And they would always be like, no, we don't like the mail. It's bills and stuff that we don't want. And now I know. Now I know that it's not fun to get mail anymore because it's just bills. But anyways, I gotta put some oil in my truck, so I'm gonna do that right now. And then, I'm pretty sure Aspen is making some lunch for us, so I'm gonna go get some yummy lunch. Okay, babe. Okay. Taste it. Are you ready? Yep. Mmm! You did such a good job, babe. Dang! So I don't know what happened to the zucchini, because it was all like grated up. And like obviously it's in here, but it was like sticking together all weird. I don't know Wait, if I'll do that again. In here? Yeah, <laughs> I like Where? grated it up. Like with the cheese grater. So it's like a little. I don't see any. I don't know. So yeah, we did that. And then the broccoli is like way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I could have cut it smaller, but I didn't. Look, there's some. Right there. Like, you mean way smaller than you thought it would be? No. What's they're not big. What's yeah, big but about it? I was just gonna like make them like smaller. Cause it was gonna be so that you like don't really know you're eating it as much. Mm. And I used a new rice. I don't know if I like this rice. Yeah, I used a different kind of rice. It's like instant rice. Or it cooks in like five minutes. Do you think it tastes weird? It's white rice too. Yeah, we haven't had white rice in like forever. Like I don't think I've ever made us white rice. I think it's good. Love it. I think you did a great job. Thanks, babe. So Parker is golfing right now and I have just been sitting over on the couch doing some computer stuff, more emails and some editing. And I also did a blog post. So I'll have Parker put that in the description down below. You guys can check it out. And now I'm about to try and make some chili. I bought this stuff to make it and I've had this recipe pinned for so long and I'm finally just gonna make it. Make it look good, you're on camera. Sand pit. Ooh, oh, nice. All right. All right. All right. Dude, this hole's so cool. Oh. Who's closer? Just had to get on camera. Good job, huh? Get there. Are you kidding? I miss it, dude. Oh, dead center. Brandon's hitting him up in the dirt. Decent lie. He's about 200 yards out. Let's see how he plays this. <laughs> he hits it right back into the dirt. <laughs> oh! Down! Oh! I just got done golfing. I actually won. Now I just barely stopped at the mall and I got our Parade of Homes tickets. We're going to the Parade of Homes. I'm trying to drive right now, so I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm super excited because I got Pray to Homes tickets. I'm headed home, Aspen's making dinner, there's someone dropping off our bed, so I'm hurrying home. Okay, gotta go, bye. Alright, so we just got... No? Oh, I was like, what? We just got our bed! This is our bed! Yay! Looks different than I remembered. That's what I'm saying, like I don't even I feel like it was different than the picture, I don't know. I don't even remember like this being the bed at all. <laughs> I know it was similar, it's probably the same. But. It's cute though. I'm so confused, what is the hardware? Hardware like, is the like screws this? and stuff to put it together. We've had the worst experience. I don't even wanna like take the time to complain and be negative and stuff. But this is just really annoying. Like this bed was really expensive. We ordered it from West Elm and then I. And we it ordered was it like, before the house was even built. Well, it well, was on back order. Which is fine. Obviously, if you order something on back order, don't expect it to be there in like a week. But I ordered it probably in like October, and it said it'd be here for delivery between January 9th and 25th. Today is February 11th, so already kind of late. And then it doesn't have like the hardware with it. Like they called me this morning and were like, I wasn't even like awake yet when they called. They called super early, so I didn't get the message. So I was trying to call back, and it just like I don't know, it wasn't working. But they were like, oh, the hardware like. Something was wrong with it. We can send you new hardware, but it won't be there till March 9th. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I don't know why hardware takes so long. Like, I know, like hardware. if you mess something up or if something's wrong with your product, you overnight, whatever, 
Like, they should overnight the hardware. Like, that's so stupid. So I'm kind of bugged. So, yeah, but anyways, here's my chili that I'm making. It looks amazing, babe. Does it? You're the best. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm that. scared it's gonna be gross. 10 minutes till it's done, right? Seven, yep. eight minutes. And yep. then we get to eat. I'm excited. I have been watching story time videos seriously like all day just in the background of like whatever I'm doing I've been watching this girl Olivia for seriously like hours. So I was working on like a blog post and stuff So I wasn't like watching TV or listening to music. I was just like listening to these so entertaining I wish I had stories that I could do but I don't have anything entertaining ever. Okay, it's time for the taste test Taste test number two of the day. Ooh, I want to get a new light bulb for this. We have like one that's like orange and then one that's more blue and the orange one is painful. Okay, babe, come taste. I hope it's not gross. It told me to put in like two tablespoons of this one spice, which I thought was a lot. So you didn't do what it said to do? No, I did. I followed the exact direction. I got my bite ready. Come taste. Here's what Parker's looks like. He has sour cream in his. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Mmm. Oh, it's pretty good. It's definitely kind of spicy. Mm-hmm. Not bad. You did a really good job, babe. I'm proud of you. Also, it said to like dice up the peppers and the onion, but that was really hard, so they're kind of chunky. The best part about being the one who cooks the dinner is, is that the other one has up. to clean up. Clean up. <laughs> There's not really a mess. I've already put away a couple things. I'll help you, but we were just watching some Ellie and Jared while we were eating, and Ellie was talking about how her and Bonnie used to like skip school. So we were talking, and neither of us really ever were like ditchers. I remember one specific time I ditched art class and it was like with this one teacher that like just did not even care like she did not even know and I remember I had her she taught a couple of different classes so I took art with her my um, first year of high school and then I think the second year I took ceramics and it was my first period of the day and every single morning I would be so late I would like miss half the class which doesn't count as ditching I was just late but she would like wouldn't even notice half the time because she just was like Never paid attention. I don't think we washed this thing. Oh, okay. I don't know. But yeah, she was like one of those kind of teachers. That if, if she liked you, yeah, she just gave you an A. Especially in something like ceramics where it's like, like if that's not like math, but like you want your math teacher to care and like know how to help you and everything. But um, yeah, I remember one time I specifically, that's like the one time that I really like ditched class. I remember one time I was in class and we had like, our teacher was a, he's a basketball coach and he had to leave early or something like that. So another teacher sat in just for like the last 20 minutes of class and we literally just sat there and did nothing. We just talked to each other. Yeah. And me and a couple friends decided to go get a drink. Yeah. <laughs> and we went and got a drink and then that teacher came storming out. He's like, you guys are ditching. And then he marked us as truant. And so we got like, we had to do restitution. Well, we were supposed to do restitution, but there was, during that week, it was like you could bring in books and donate them to a book drive to cover your restitution. Yeah. So I brought in books and I didn't have to do restitution. Really? I never had any. If you guys, how would you even explain restitution? I don't even really know what it is. It's basically like detention. You literally go and sit and do homework and you can't have your phone out. You can't like do anything like that. And if you don't have any homework or anything like that, you have to read a book but you can't have your phone out and stuff like that. And it's after hours, like it's after school ends. So it's yeah. basically like detention and that's how you repay the time missed, you know, your absences and stuff. Yeah, it was like for every three absences, I think you would have, or like once you got to four, cause I remember like after lunch, cause our school only gave us like, was your, wasn't was yours a little longer? Ours was like 45 minutes for lunch. And ours when you're was like leaving, an hour and two minutes. Ours was like, I think it was like 50, I don't know, but when you're like driving somewhere to go to lunch, like 50 minutes is not that long. So I remember that like I would be late to lunch some, or late back to third period. We had four periods in a day. So I would be late to third period sometimes. And like I remember towards the end of the semester, if I like didn't have, if I hadn't used up my three absences, like I would totally just like be late on purpose because I could. But once you got to four, then you would get, I think an hour of restitution. And some of my friends had like a hundred hours. Yeah, and there was like, I just never had any. It's like one of my biggest accomplishments. Like I never had any restitution. Hey mom. Hi. We do need it that close. <laughs> hey Benny. We're making Valentine's for Tab's class. Aww. Bean, do you have a Valentine? Nope. You don't? Just me. Do you want one? I don't know. I'll be your Valentine, Bean. Mm -hmm. I think you're cute. How do you like your rollerboard? 
Good? Bean, you haven't posted a new video for a little bit. Uh-huh. You need to post one. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. How cute is this commercial? It's like a mom dog driving. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Chat, that is email, the cutest idea in the world. So I am back from my mom's house. We watched PLL and you know, it was good. Comment down below if you guys have been watching. Let me know like your theories and stuff because I just like don't know where they're gonna take the story because they're just like taking like it in, you know, a new wow. direction with the new season. Well, you know the Cece, Charlotte, how she yeah. was A. Didn't she die, right? Yeah, she like, someone killed her. So now they're trying to figure out like who the murderer is and then A's back. Yes. Okay. But it's like a different A or whatever. Okay. So I just like have no idea. Wait, A's back? Yeah, I think it's like a new person. Yeah, I just like have no idea who it could even be or anything. So comment down below what you guys think. But that is gonna be all for the vlog today. We hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thumbs up if you liked this video and also subscribe if you are not already. And we will see you guys on Monday because this is going up on Friday. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mwah. Bye guys. Bye.